Honey. Oh no, we're live. We have to we have to be funny now. I gotta clean I gotta I can see myself in all like in all facets of everything. You gotta clean up the the my pubic hair beard. Like I swear to God, I, I condition you would think he never conditions it. Condition it, bro. A little bit conditioner. We're going low. I condition so much. Like I hate this. I hate my beard. And you ask me, why do you have a big ass bushy beard? Well, my son's never seen me without a beard. I have a I've had a beard the entire time he's been alive. And my girl supposedly likes it, but I think she likes that nobody else wants me. I think that's what she likes. I think that's what she enjoys. She enjoys the fact that nobody else digs this when I look like this. It's real easy to not look great. Hey, thanks, YouTube. Thanks, Facebook. We appreciate y'all joining us. The uh, Don't tell TikTok. The cash app's down there in the description if you want to just pin a, duck to my, pin a buck to my shirt. Or, you know, TikTok could send me some gifts or some hearts or something. You know, it's just just send me, put a little dollar right here. I don't. I don't have a. I should have gotten some dollars, but I need. I need a dollar pin right here. So, the cash app's down in the description. You could. You could pin it up there. Just right. There. Wouldn't that look cool? When I look like when not a real gangster has got got money on his shirt because people really care about his birthday. A gangster ass cracker is the dopest in the round because he knows what he's gonna be the best at. The best at this and the best at that. Because you know that I'm a rapper. I'm, I'm almost positive I'm making myself look stupid. But we're just waking up in this morning. We're having some coffee. We're going to try to do some comedy. I know you missed me the past week. It was spring break. And guess what? My son ruins everything. It just I'm not. He doesn't ruin everything. I, I take that away. But I'm saying, like, I don't feel like, oh, let's get on live and do funny. And ha, ha, ha. See, right now he's not here. He's at school. So guess what? I can be alone. I can spend time with you. We can have a little me time. You want to have a little me time? Shit, nobody's watching. Believe me. Nobody's watching. Shit, just me and you here. Nobody, nobody else even knows. Nobody else has a clue that it's just, this is like OnlyFans. And I'm only here for you. I have a, I do a show on Friday nights with uh, this guy Andrew Mecca Davis, and he does uh, pop anime comics. That's his thing. I want to shout out to pop anime comics. Go check out pop anime comics everywhere: eBay, Facebook, YouTube. Pop anime comics. The guy was really smart about his shit. I unfortunately have everything different: Bob's product on YouTube, Keenan on Facebook. Uh, nerding out on TikTok, waffling out on another TikTok. <laughs> got a lot of shit to do, you know. I gotta, gotta try to quiet. Thanks. I'm keeping it up. Thank you, TikTok, for edging edging me on. Are you telling me? Are you telling me to? Yeah, I'm 65, guys. I look good for 65, right? No, I'm actually I'm actually 40. 41 today. I turned 41. Shh. Don't tell anybody. 41. I'm 41 today. So I got a couple years still I have to grow up yet. You know? A few more years I'll grow up. Start stop, you know, stop being the child I am. This child of mine. I wonder if that's the song my mama sings to herself every time she like sees her grown ass son on. A TikTok or YouTube. That child of mine. Would she? Would does she think that? I hope not. I hope not. I know she. She's not too thrilled about some of my jokes. I got some funny. Yeah, let's uh, let's do one liners this morning to start the day. And these are written out, so I got to read them. I mean, I'm sure I remember them. Um, House of Pain. I go over to my buddy's house and tell him, hey. House of Pain's coming to town. I'm not as old as you. Bro, we were the same age. You were literally born in August. I'm born in March. The same fucking year. How are we not the same age, dude? How, how are we not? I know I look old, but we are the same age. Don't be, don't be fucking playing with me. Um, if, if you are a woman, in general, I apologize an awful lot to women. Like it's just in my DNA. Like every every few months, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like I even have women say, like, why do you apologize to me so much? Because you're a woman. That's what I'm supposed to do. You apologize. You apologize. Like a mofo. You apologize. 
why wouldn't I apologize to you right now? If you're listening, I'm sorry. And also, also, men, women, anything. If you're attracted to this at all, if something about this kind of, oh, not, not too, not, and remember, it's just me and you. So, you know, I'm talking directly to you. I'm talking directly in your face. If you are attracted to this at all, you're probably not going to fuss. I'm just, in my experience, in my experience, only crazy people. And you can see why. I look like the prospector off of uh, Toy Story. Oh, we're going to get some gold. Who's going there? Who's going there? Who's doing it? I'm almost positive it's not how he sounded. Maybe when he was really angry. I got to get my old white guy voice down. Um... So yeah, like I said, I just turned 41. And when I tell like people ask, what do you do? Oh, I'm a social media creator. I make TikToks, YouTube reels on Facebook. I do I I, I try to I try to, nothing is more lame than telling somebody that you're a social media creator. It, it's it's like telling somebody you don't have a job. Well, it is telling somebody, I don't have a job. I sit at home and make stupid TikToks and YouTubes all day. I'm on this new thing called Clapper. We got the clap. You got the clap. Clap, 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 clap. But you know, don't you know? Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see, 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 see. How old do you think I am? I've already told you that. I've already given you that. My age is 65. I've already told you that I'm 65. I get recognized a lot, not because I'm famous. Just old, fat, white guys with a beard. We all look alike. I don't know if you know. Like The stereotype is all black people look alike. No, 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 no. Fat, white dudes with a beard. You think you know us. You're like, hey, I know you. No, you don't know me. The first time I went to jail, I got recognized. It was in a different city. Hey, I know you. No, you don't fucking know me, bro. You have no idea who I am. I've never been here before in my life. How, how would you know who I am? You you don't know me. How? Oh, that's And I'm like twin. I'm not even twin. I'm 18 years old. That's when I realized, oh, fat white people all look alike. Maybe I do. It might be Fred Durst, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of doppelgangers. The Red Hat Committee down in Kansas City. Um, you know, famous fat old white dudes with beards look alike. Uh, that's, that's a joke I told you. That's the joke I told you, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, my, bo- my boss walks in. All right, so I, I got two stories about me feeling bad from a boss, me feeling good from a boss. Walking across the street with my boss. No, I'm, I'm, I'm young. Kanan, and that's how you say my name if you're country. Kanan, how old are you? 21, sir. Damn, Kanan, hard living, huh? Yeah, man, I'm glad I got to be berated at work this morning. Yeah, it's been a hard life. Been a hard life. Then, years later, years, years later, this that was when I'm 21. 30 something years later, well, when I'm 30, a boss comes in the kitchen. Hey, where's the fat kid at? Right here, sir. You're not fat. I love you. Like, I've never wanted to kiss a man more in my life. And the moment that man said, and he had a beard too. He was a fat dude with a beard too. It would have been like making out with my twin. It would have been like, he was a little bit sure. So maybe like Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger making out, which, if you think about it, is. A tad bit hot. A tad bit. Could you imagine, like, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger? And I don't want to. I'm just saying. I don't want to imagine. It's, it does get gross. Uh, <clears throat> uh, all right. I, uh, I, um. Uh, You ever seen Don't Be a Menace to South Central? I'm the man. And now like, oh shit, that guy's the shit. He's the man. No, no, I'm I'm the man like Mark Furman dropping the, the glove at the OJ Simpson trial. I'm I'm the man that can get away with anything. I'm like, you don't even know it's I'm like, the white shadow. You can't see me. I'm stealthy. 
Ooh, the White Shadow. Ooh. You ever seen that TV show, The White Shadow? Basketball, white basketball coach in an all-black school. So they called him the White Shadow because it's a white dude basically shadowing a bunch of black kids. I'm just saying, like, and it, and it, it was, I used, it was a pretty good show. I mean, in the name, the White Shadow. I mean, if I if I could take that as my moniker, I, I would the White Shadow. I am the White Shadow. Maybe I should. I wonder if the people, the creators of the White Shadow, that should be my nickname, the White Shadow, because I copy everything that's cool and I'm the Shadower. I am the shadow. You ever see the movie The Shadow? Another tangent. Go from the white shadow to the movie The Shadow with Alec Baldwin. That was a weird ass flick. That was a weird, like, we got some weird ass superhero flicks. Like, people, kids complain, like, oh, Marvel's gone. Shut the fuck up. We got weird ass movies like The Shadow, The Phantom. We were, we were doing, like, oh, that'd be, look, instead of, like, well, probably because it's easier in 1930 to, like, to, because all of them were, like, you couldn't. We just weren't there yet. We just weren't there yet. It just, it just wasn't happening. Again, it's my 65th birthday. Pin me a dollar to my chest. It's just a dollar. I know I'm begging, right? But I've, I've got anything that anybody does on social media is basically them begging. Oh, I got a product here. I beg you to buy it. Oh, I wrote a book. I beg you to buy it. Oh, I got a course. I beg you to watch it. I beg. I beg. Why? Why not? Do you have, do you want to buy something that you never? I mean, literally, I've looked at people's merch, and there's nothing that I would buy. Um, I'm thinking of making like you remember it, like the Major League Baseball emblem, but was a dude smoking a bowl, a bl- a bong. I might, I might do that because I'm sure they just stopped doing that because they got in trouble. They got a cease and desist letter from MLB, and I'm sure that's what I'll get one day. But any publicity is good publicity, right? That's what I say. I say any publicity is good publicity. Publicity. Blah, 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 publicity. Publicity. Uh, oh man, I gotta uh, hate that I have to take pictures of this shit to read it. My bad. I was sitting here talking for too long. Coffee and comedy. Well, I love how everybody's hanging out on my birthday. We're having so much fun. Uh oh. What's up? What's up, bro? Okay. I don't, I don't know what to do to this. Like, we're just... You got one person just nonstop hearting you? you know, they love you that much? That's dope. Um, Yeah. Do I get to... Was somebody nonstop hearting me? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Ooh, thank you for the hearts. It's my birthday. I've got a joke for you. What do the New York Jets and my ex-girlfriend have in common? Damn it. And you probably already left us. What do the New York Jets and my ex-girlfriend have in common? What do the New York Jets and my ex-girlfriend have in common? Let me see. What do the New York Jets and my ex-girlfriend have in common? They both are losers. They both are from the East. They both... Uh, are stupid. They both. Uh, I can't think. I wish I would have saw it before, before all that. Before, before all that. Before all that. Before all that. Before all that. All right. So, not doing the opener. Not doing the almost jokes. Uh, 
I don't know where I put. Uh, what's this? My first jail experience. Oh, this is a, this is a story. I don't, it's it's a story. It's it's a sad, scary story. No, it's, it's not a sad, scary story. Um, so first I went to jail. I got pulled in for a warrant. I go to like this podunk little city, and like they take me in. Blah blah blah. They do the whole mess. No big deal. They take you a little room. They gotta spread you. You gotta make sure you're not trying to get nothing in there. And then I'm 300 pounds back in the day. I'm a big old boy. I'm a corn fed mother. I'm I'm big. This little podo jail like only has an XL. So they give me this suit that's like ugh, skin tight. Like the most skinniest, tightest thing you've ever seen. I'm talking about every nook and cranny could be seen. I know you think you might think like right now, oh man, you can see everything. No, 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 no. This jail outfit, this orange jumpsuit, nothing has ever fit tighter in my life. So they walk me out and I am like pulling at myself. I am feeling more insecure. I'm being, I feel more exposed than I did just a moment ago inside that room. I sit down, and again, I'm still pulling on myself and just and trying to cover up. And then all of a sudden, that boy look like a stuffed sausage over the intercom. Like, life isn't bad enough right now, bro. I get to listen to you. It's messed up, man. That boy look like a stuffed sausage. Everybody has a good old laugh. Ah! Thanks, guys. And I'm, I'm a 19-year-old. like, And I'm a boy. I'm 18 years old. This is my first time going to jail. That boy look like a stuff stuff. I'm probably about to cry. Real talk, I'm probably about to cry. And this guy comes over and says, That boy look like a stiff sausage. Fucking biatch. Bia, biatch. All right, uh... Happy memory post. Oh, that's all right. This is a so my girl caught me sending pics to other women, and the worst part is she caught me sending dick pics. Make it even worse. I know you're thinking, oh, can it get even worse than that? Yeah, it was pics that she took. But these pics look good, bro. These pics look good. I considered posting these pics on Facebook. I know I get in trouble, but I like to see that memory pop up like once a year, be like, hey. You did this once. Hey, this happened. But so it looks so good. I sent it. I sent it out for the world to see. Well, not the world. There's one one lady in particular. I was like, hey, look, look what I got for you. Blah, 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 blah. The lighting was good. The shadowing was good. Uh, there was some definition. So you could you could tell what, what the link was. There was there was there was something in front of it. So you could tell it's bigger than a paper clip. You could tell. You could tell. Yeah, that's what uh most people put remotes in front of their shit. I put a I put a paper clip just just to put some just to give some some type of thing. But I mean, it's like if you if you had access to Monet or Van Gogh, maybe maybe you had first crack at the Mona Lisa. Would you just keep that to yourself, or would you just say, "Hey, look look what my lady did. Look what she did." And I told I told I told the person I'm like, "Hey." No, I, I didn't tell her. I, I just I'm like, look what I got for you. Look what I got for you. Look what I got for you. I got, I got, I got tattoos on my body. Dumb tattoos. I got Kiki and Incredible Hulk letters. That's my nickname. Not my girl. I got Thundercats. I got Batman on the chest. I got a Loch Ness monster tramp set. But I had the Chef from South Park on the back of my leg. And. While I was getting the chef from South Park on the back of my leg, I wanted this chef in full color. That was my envision. I want, I want black. I want the chef, the pants, I want everything going. Let's see color. I don't. I want full color. Um, so the artist gets all done, and they are a black woman. I don't know if that's what, what pronoun they call. But anyways. They when they got done, she was like, "You sure you want me to color him?" I was like, "Yeah, I want him full color." So you want to take a look at it and check? I was like, "Yeah, sure." And I took a look at it, and luckily, 
me and Chef look a whole lot alike. If you don't color Chef in, we look a whole lot alike. And for years, that's the story I told people. But then, while I'm talking about my tattoos, literally it popped in my head one day. Shit, did she stop me from putting blackface on my body my entire life? Like, it's, and it's on the back of my leg. So, I mean, from wearing shorts, you see it. Did she stop me from, like, having blackface? Um, she's like, and my daughter, who is mixed, says, but Chef is black. I was like, yeah, no, no, I get what you're saying. I get this. But, like, if I put brown makeup on me and pretending to be black, would you not be upset? Would be, there's somebody would get upset if I had blackface on the back of my leg. Somebody somewhere. And I get it. I get it. I'm the... The, the tattoo card to save me. I don't want my face on my body for the entire entire out, out outcome of my life. That would have that would have been I black women aren't a big fan of kissing anyways. And if I got black face on the back of my leg, I'm probably never been kissed before. Oh right, we got a we got a thing. What's up, what's up? Thanks for dropping in. It's my birthday. Celebrating my 65th. Um, memories of my all right, memories of my dad. A lot of kids have good memories of their father. A lot of kids have bad memories of their father. Like, oh, daddy didn't show up. Oh, daddy wouldn't throw the ball with me. Uh, I got some memories like that. Oh, daddy would only throw the ball long enough for a cigarette. I get it. I get it. But the memory that sticks out the most, the memory that's like burrowed into my head that just won't leave. I'm sick. I'm like, I'm like 12, 13 years old. I'm over at my, I'm staying the weekend at my dad's girlfriend's house with him. She is a sick, she, like me, she's a 65 year old woman. He's in his 40s. Well, I'm not a 65 year old woman, by the way, my bad. But she was also 65, but he's in his 40s. I go into his room late night. Oh, dad, I got a real bad stomach here. Can you help me out, sir? Can you help me? Because I, I can't find anything in this house. So I go back to the bathroom because I have diarrhea. I need to run back to the bathroom real quick, right? I get in there. Guess who comes in like a few moments after me? My father. Thank you, Dad. Tell me why this dude is naked. What part What part of anything that I said means, hey, I don't need to pull up some boxers real quick. I don't need to. I don't need to pull on my boxers and go help my son real quick. No, let me just walk out there naked. It's no big deal if he sees my, my dick flapping around. And I'm, I am I was in a locker room before this. I, I've seen male nudity. I've seen a porn before this. Okay, gotcha. But my dad coming in, I'm like, what are you doing, my man? And then I get to the, if he's naked in that bed, he's not the only thing naked in that bed. That's 65 year woman's naked in that bed, too. There were, um, a range of emotions going through me at that moment. Like, a range. Like, ooh, ooh. But, yeah. Uh, you right taking the crazy test. Uh, one time, my father, we're at, we're at dinner, and my father says something about, he, said, he literally says the words, the blacks. But, Whatever he said after that wasn't a big. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't a big deal. I, I, I let it go. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. But we're driving home, and he says, "Now if the blacks only understood the Civil War." Wait a minute, bro. Let me, uh, hold on. Number one, let's not refer to a race of people as the color of their skin. Anymore. Let's just not do that. Number two. Let's not inform any black people on what you've been watching on the History Channel. Like they they got the same cable you do, man. They don't they don't need to hear that. Especially I don't know. You see this? You see this? Yeah, you see it, don't you? Ah, yeah. We don't uh, we we don't age well, so. Yeah. Then it, it is uh, I got I got a drunkle Bill. This isn't a real uncle, but we call him drunk. We call him drunkle Bill. He's not like one of those those where oh I had this uncle that that is not one of those uncles. But so drunkle Bill gets like and drunkle Bill was really good at hiding how like actual drunk he was. So he my he, 
he gets sent to the pizza place and he asked me if I or I I, I want to go because he always let me drive on the dirt road. So we jump behind the wheel. I'm driving down the dirt road. We get to the end of the dirt road. And usually, drunk or built, we switch. I park the car, start to get out. What are you doing? We're switching, sir. No, you're getting us there. I've never driven before. I'm like 12 years old. We're on the two lane highway, like fast, dude. Going good, man. But what I didn't understand is that it's a better ticket if a child gets, if you're, if you're like minor drive, than if you're drunk driving. Drunkle, I'm telling you, Drunkle Bill have been doing this for a while, y'all. He had his shit together on this. So I get us to the pizza place. And I guess my turn in, I kind of bottomed up. Not guess. I definitely bottomed the hell out. Made a huge smash. We parked the car. Some nice Karen pedestrian calls the popo. I go get the pizza. Drunkle Bill goes next door to the liquor store. I come out with the pizza. Sit in the truck, get back in the driver's seat, because I'm driving home. I'm I'm the driver. What's up? I'm chilling. Got me a pizza. Waiting for Drunkle Bill. And what comes up behind me? Who can it be? Cops, bro. Cops. Um, I hear the blue, the, the blue and reds. So I'm sitting there. Cop comes up. Hey, how you doing, son? Hey, how you doing, man? What you doing? I'm just waiting for my uncle to get done shopping. Oh, okay. Who was who was driving the truck? Uncle was driving this truck. Why are you sitting in the driver's seat then? I'm just waiting for him, listening to some tunes. Okay. I'm gonna wait for your uncle to get out of there. Like, All right. Here comes Drunkle Bill out of the liquor store with a big ass paper bag and a big old jug of wine. Like I'm talking Olive Garden wine. I'm talking like that 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 big ghetto cheap shit wine. He comes walking out. The police, hey, Bill, hey, again, we're in a small town. Like, we're, everybody knows everybody. Hey, Bill, how, how you doing, Bill? I'm doing good. Bill, who was driving? He was driving. Bill, stitch, snitches get stitches, bro. What, what are you doing? What are you doing here, man? So our mom has got called. My mom, his wife. Not the same, like my mom and his wife. Two different people. I could not imagine Drunkle Bill as a dad. That would have been fun times. Uh, so old dudes and short dudes. That's who I don't mess with. And Drunkle Bill was both. He was an old dude and a short dude. That double like boiler of a, a thing, you definitely do not fight them. Old dudes and short dudes mixed together were born to beat you up. Like you'll be sitting up, not even knowing what's going on, lay down on the ground. Don't mess with the old dude or old dudes and short dudes were bred to beat you up in fights. I'm I'm just saying, old dudes be sitting there looking like they're like half like drunk and like oh, this guy and boom, you knock the fuck. You just got knocked the fuck out. That's how it goes down. Cause it's Monday, you ain't got no job and you ain't got shit to do. So and then short dudes, short dudes have been preparing for this fight their entire life. Short dudes have been UFC in this mofo. You know, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So my advice as an old man, don't, and this isn't, I'm not saying you can fight me all day because you will win. I promise you that. Go fight old dudes or short dudes. And when I say old dudes, I mean old dudes that can fight, not old dudes like me. I mean, I don't want to, I'm not trying to get fought. I'm like Danny Glover. I'm too old for this shit. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying when I live into the world? I'm speaking with an English accent. Accent. I'm not speak. I'm singing with an English accent. Is that a different guy? I'm singing with an English accent. Accent. Is that an accent I can... I, I'm speaking with an English accent. Accent. I've been real into English comedies lately. Well, not lately. I've always been in English comedies. You ever watch some English comedies? English comedies are funny, dude. They might not be... 
your cup of tea because they drink tea not coffee can i get you a spot of tea love can i get you a spot of tea love no i want some damn coffee i want some coffee and comedy not some tea and chuckles this morning i need some fucking comedy bro all you brits bring are the the chuckles or the chuckles why why you always bring the chuckles? you hear my beat I'm spinning coffee. Don't drop me. If you come up too close, you can't stop me. And God knows we're watching that shit because that was terrible. Coffee and comedy in the morning. Ah, yeah, you know. Uh, oh, it's been a tough spring break week. We woke up late this morning, too. Huh. Oh shit. I didn't set my alarms. So we woke up late as shit. Not even trying. <sighs> it's a Monday, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to put out some Friday vibes on this Monday, but fuck, dude. Like a Monday's still a Monday. It's just I need to get up early, put the sun out, like like he's a fucking dog. I had to I had to get up early and put the sun out for the for the school bus. I like he's the trash getting picked up. I had to get up early and put the sun out for the school bus to pick him up. Do I gonna have the day off? Because his spring break was last week. My spring break is this week. I've got from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. This week, that's how. That's when I'm gonna have the fun. 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I'm giving y'all an hour this morning. You uh, appreciate this hour, cause I'm 65 and I don't give a fuck anymore. You know what I'm saying? Do you know how you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? That wasn't. Can I can I say that? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hello. How are you? Hello, That was kind of my my dark my Lord of the Rings Smeagol. I wasn't even trying. Like I'm terrible at accents. Like just I don't know if you noticed. I, I can I can do um I, I can do Boston slightly, but I gotta start it with khakis. Let's get a khakis. We'll go to the yard. Uh, we'll knock a couple dingas out and wa- watch the uh, Pats win. See, I lost it. I lost it. And that's what happens. I lose. I lose it. I find it. And just as quick as I found it, I lose it. Smooth. Cool. And you know it. Um, black women aren't huge fans of kissing. And I wonder, like, at first I did wonder if it was me. Like, can they taste like the systemic? Is there some systemic racism coming off of my breath? Like, is there, like, nothing I can do about the systemic racism coming off of me? But then I asked my homegirl, and she said, no. I don't know where the fuck your mouth's been. And my homegirl was black, so she knew. She had that black girl magic. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Black girl magic. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Um, ex-wife was racist. She was not black. She was just... Racist as fuck. I did not know. I did not know that. Uh, they don't. Racist people just don't come out and say, "Hey guys, I'm racist." Maybe, maybe to non-white people when you're white. I mean, they just don't. I mean, you know, I don't know. It just came over time. And when she did or she like me, see her friends for the first time and we got married. She's like, ah, I married this guy named Keith. Is he black? No, but we know you're racist now. No, no, no. She was the racist. She that they were surprised like why you wouldn't be with a black dude that's weird she was racist I am in my mom like um I don't know if you ever heard that what that Justin be my mama didn't like you and she likes everyone and so I should have known but uh, I am the I am the golden child. I, I can do no wrong in my mother's eyes. And I know this because I've heard it from every woman I've ever been with. Oh, 
the golden child needs to answer the phone. Is mommy calling you? Yeah, I'm sorry your mommy doesn't love you. That's not my fault. And that might, I mean, that might just be a, uh, like I said, like, I need, I need, I need women with broken wings to fly in and not be able to escape. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? So that might be my fault that their mommy didn't love them. And um, probably their daddy didn't love them that much either. You know. But one thing I learned from my mom and the hangouts with their home goes happy hours at Chili's. Um, one thing I learned is we ain't shit. Men, that is. Men ain't shit. I had no chance of being a homosexual because I know we ain't shit. Why would you be with a man? Because he ain't shit. He ain't going to do nothing for you. He does not care enough to do. I mean, we ain't shit. So why would I do this? That so. Yeah, that joke is getting there. It's kind of there. Hopefully I'm going to go out this Wednesday before waffling out. Go and do some comedy. Comedy. Hopefully. I got to get waffling out getting better because it is off of its game. Like we have been sucking. Like everything's maybe it's just because D hasn't gone and shit. You know, I'm not good with changes. We lost our chef, but now he's back. Unfortunately, I mean, he found a better, he found a job that he really wanted to stick with, but they, he couldn't, it, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's, that's his story, not mine. But he's back on Wednesday nights, so we got to get back on our game. We got to get back on our game, and I'm going to talk to Rich because literally all year long, all year long, we're into the third half, we're three months into the year. Three and a half. No, the end of the, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know. Two and a half months. Whatever. We got to fix it. And that's what we're going to do for my birthday. We're going to fix this shit. Like, this isn't a, but I'm saying if we put the right team behind racism, like, racism has done well by itself. For centuries, it seems like. Imagine if we got the right team behind. Like, I feel like Trump just doesn't have the right team behind his racism. If he got the right team and like did, like, he can make racism really palatable for people. He's a catchy dude. If anybody's gonna get racism across the board, it'd be that guy. So, if we if he could get the right if we could get the right team, it could go to the moon. It could. Luckily, we can not get our shit together. We're too busy being. We are. Uh, I get a lot of reverse racism because I'm usually I like being the only one of me in a building. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, this is not really your scene. Like, that's perfect because not every woman in there is gonna like me, but the couple women that do. What up? What up? What up? Me, check me out. Check, check me out. Check in with me and do your job. Lay on the bed and give me. Don't have to ask. Don't have to beg. Juicy is my name. Sex is my game. Let's call the boys. We can run it. Why would you want to call your boys? Why? What have your boys put in on this? Like it's just like like you ain't put in on this man. I work long hard. Look, let's call the boys. We can run it. Why? What is hot about it, bro? Like, what is hot about watching your boys? Like, uh, uh, maybe you're not watching. Uh, uh, maybe you're not watching. I don't know. But even just knowing, like, what are you doing hanging out in the other room while the boys are hitting it? I have no idea what's going on right now, bro. We went way off the rails, man. Just because I set some the Juicy J, the Three Six Mafia song. Let's call the boys. We can run a train. No, we can't run a train because it's just not going to happen. Not going to do it. Sorry. <sighs> All right. So my girl is entertainment stupid, which again, 
We've talked about this. There has to be something wrong. Like, has to be. And my girl is entertainment, too. I love her to death. But we're driving down the road, and you, we're driving on the road in my 6'4". Jack and... Uh, I forget the rest of the words. I thought I had them, but then I didn't have them, so I started to ease it back. So we're driving in the car, and we don't you forget about me. Don't, don't, don't you. What are you doing? The song from the movie. This is this is what he does at the end of the movie. He puts his he puts his hand up in the air. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What, what do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Just let me enjoy my music, please. Wait, you never seen the movie The Breakfast Club. No, I've seen the movie The Breakfast Club. It sounds stupid. You've never seen them. John Hughes, uh, Shermer, Illinois, Ferris Bueller, Home Alone. Like, yeah, you know, that was written. Okay, he didn't. All right, but no, all right, so I, I get it. I'm, I'm try, I've tried, I've tried, I tried to talk her into watching some John Hughes. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. A couple weeks go by, maybe months. I don't, I don't know the timeline. I didn't, I didn't script this shit down. But it's upsetting. It's upsetting. So she tells me, hey, I saw this trailer for your pretty. Yeah, John Hughes. Yeah, really good. Let's check it out. Oh, you want you want to check out the movie Pretty in Pink now, John Hughes. I'm I'm pretty sure I can find it. I don't know. So you want to watch it now? Yeah, I love. I want to check it out. Okay. She loves the movie. Cause guess what? It's May. It, it's an '80s romantic comedy teen shit. Come on now. All right. Oh, what if you mean? Oh, I don't. I don't. Oh, made anything else off the check i'll do some give me a give me a little bit and i'll do some checking so next movie up on our list is the breakfast club oh now i get it. yeah no shit no shit i was trying to uh, frustration really grinds my gears uh so then the movie black panther comes out and I'm a superhero nerd. She asks a lot of questions. So every superhero movie that comes out, I go and see it first. Because she just can't shut the fuck up during it. So the movie Black Panther comes out. I want to go see this movie. Cool, I've already seen it. Let's go. You've already seen it. Well, yeah, it's a superhero movie. I see all superhero movies without you. It's a superhero movie? Yeah. The movie Black Panther... Is a superhero movie. It's not about the Black Panther Party. Have you seen a trailer or commercial for this movie at all? The guy is running around in a comic book costume. He is the Black Panther. It's not called the Black Panther Party or Fred. I'm sorry, but Black. Don't think like, hey, this guy knows a lot about the Black Panther because I don't. It's been like a year ago, the show came out on it, and then. I started doing this joke and it just popped in my head. And now I always remember telling, even though I can't remember a lot of shit, I remember Fred Top. I feel like it's disingenuous for me not to like put this little caveat on it. Uh, get me wrong. I don't know a Black Panther, but I, like I, I'd like to. I saw I saw the movie. Uh, so she won't see it at all. She will not watch Black Panther. Months go by. We're in the we're in the hospital giving birth to our son. There's only a few movies available to watch on the hospital TV. One of those movies is Black Panther. So what do we watch? Black Panther. She she decides it be grimy. Like no, she's like oh okay fine. Let's watch it. Guess what? I had to hear for like the next every time she touches my son's feet. What are those? Like I knew, you, like like I re I don't know a lot, but I know a little about a lot of stuff, and I know my entertainment. So I can't like, and I picked out so many movies. Like, and I don't tell you movies because I don't want to. I don't tell you movies that I know you won't like because I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, she's entertainment stupid. What time is it? 8.01 in the morning on oh, my birthday day. What up, y'all? It's my birthday. It's your birthday. Uh, 
So, I think that's it for the comedy this morning. I mean, I don't know. Does anybody else want to talk about anything? Anybody else got anything good going on? I have no arm. I have no arm. Somebody wants to pop. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Hello. How are you, bro? I'm terrible, man. Let's talk about it. I'm not terrible. I was just joking, man. It was a joke. How are you? I'm good, dude. I'm good. It's my birthday today. I'm turning 65 today. Oh, you turned 65? I turned 65 today. Hey. You are, you, dude, I just turned 41 today. And you are not, you believed it completely that I was 65. That hurt, hurts my feelings. No, 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 you believed it completely, bro. You you were like, ah, oh, yeah, you turned 65 today. Oh, no, no, I need somebody. We need somebody else. I don't know what's going on down here. He's having some fun. What's up, bro? Okay. How do you kids? Hey, wait, wait. How come he gets the pretty girl on his team? That's messed up. You're going to win. Oh, see. Good morning, Mom. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my sweet boy. Happy birthday to you. See, like I said, I'm the Immaculate Conception. I'm Mama's boy. You're on you're on, you're live right now. Oh, right. No, you're fine. That's why I turned out because I knew you were gonna do it. That's why I answered the thing with you luckily. I knew you were gonna sing. I knew you were gonna do that. So but now you're off of speaker. Thanks, Mama. I love you too. 